was listening, I was actually just listening to my gangster rap music right now. And I was like, in the mood, corrupt. Nate Dog. I was just having a good time. I was setting up to film this video. So I am having a good day because I know that I am in control and it's up to me to have a good day. So I am having a wonderful day. I want to do my July favorites for my beauty channel. I know it's been almost, has it been like a whole week since I haven't done a beauty video? Oh my gosh, I think it has. Today's Friday and I was supposed to upload a video on Tuesday. So I'm so sorry. I was just dealing with a lot for the past couple of of, like for the I don't know for like a month and a half I've been dealing with a lot so I haven't really been on top of the things that I should be on top of but a girl needs a break so today I want to talk about just beauty stuff and everything and I also want to let you guys know that I appreciate all the comments that I got on my vlog that I uploaded last night I think it went up like around midnight and it was just a vlog I was just kind of like done filming another video that I was doing and the camera was on. I was just kind of sitting here. It was already kind of late so I just started to ramble and just talk about my emotions and stuff and I'm not the type of girl to ever complain and you guys never hear me or tweet or anything like I never complain because I don't like really talking about my problems or what I'm going through but what I realized is that I... I know a lot of you are going through what I'm going through right now and if you're not familiar with what I'm really talking about and I know I didn't really make sense in my vlog but I, that's just, I was just kind of talking and just saying what I was feeling at that moment. And I just want to say thank you so much because I got so many comments on that vlog and they're all wonderful and trust me, a lot of the things that you guys have said, like 90% of the things that you guys said, you're right on the money and it's just, I didn't really say a lot and you guys understood what I'm going through and uh, I can't wait to go back and finish reading all the comments because they they seriously I'm gonna print all the comments out and just like read them and keep them in my journal or something just so I can go back to them because you guys gave me incredible advice and I just want to thank you so much for that so uh, okay let's talk about beauty stuff First of all, I don't know if you guys noticed my new hair. I went and got a new haircut and a new hair color. Completely different, right? Every time I go to the hair salon, the one that I was going to before, I was always like, can you give me something different? Even though I always walked out happy, it was never like a whole, like, a complete new look. You know, it was always kind of like the same dark brown, kind of like the, you know, the ombre. And I was really, like, just fed up with that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go somewhere new. And I just kind of did some... Google search and stuff and I came across this salon I just gave them a call and I was just totally gonna be like just set me up with somebody see what they can do for my hair hair is just hair hair grows out so I was like you know what I'm just gonna take a chance and this is what I want and can you please make this happen my hair was already really uh, dry and uh, like like burnt like the ends were really burnt and then you know, the color, my roots were about like this much, and then I had like the ombre, and I had the, the mid-brown, so it was really, really bad, and I went to her, and I had some pictures of inspiration of um, JLo's hair, because I love her hair, so I was like, this is kind of how I want my hair, and she gave me exactly what I wanted, so if you want to know like all the info of the girl, her name is Tara, and she's freaking incredible, she's the nicest girl ever, she, we had such a nice conversation the whole time, and she gave me exactly what I wanted, and I'm just like so, so happy, so, um, I do have, um, a link to her, uh, Instagram, and this is the first time we ever met, I'm just like so happy, I was like, everybody needs to know about this hairstylist, guys, I, I seriously am so happy, so yeah, this is my new hair, uh, light brown, <laughs> even though we're going to winter, who cares, right? Uh, um, I have, um, I'll put, like, the info, because she put it on her Instagram page, I think, like, what she gave me. I think she gave me, like, honey, I'll, I'll put all the info so I can give you guys the correct, um, like, the correct color and all that stuff. But I just got long layers, because I love long hair, and I was going to cut it up to here, guys, because you guys like, maybe you should cut it shoulder length and kind of have, like, that beachy, messy look. I was like, mm, you know what, I might do that. So, uh, I didn't do that, because I just love my long hair, but whatever okay so moving on to monthly favorites um first i am wearing a monthly favorite which is my pjs and i bought these from uh target just recently and i think they were like under 20 dollars. and a lot of you were really excited about these so it's just a little tank top a picture of the cookie monster and then it has these cute little shorts i love the ruffles and they're super they're like booty shorts i think my husband really likes these actually and you know they have the ruffles they're super feminine i love these pjs so that's like the number one thing that i'm obsessed with these pjs so um 
Let's move on to the next favorite. I guess the first favorite is my hair, and then the next is my PJs. Now, I am starting to keep all my monthly favorites in this little basket because it's easier for me to just kind of have like, okay, this is the one product, that, like as I'm going through the month, this is the one product I really, really like. And I usually just always put it back to like the foundation drawer or the blush drawer. And then when my monthly favorites come around, I'm like, where's my favorite stuff, you know? So, um, I'm just going to start keeping all of my monthly favorites in this little basket and I also picked it up from Target the same day that I bought these uh, PJs and it's actually really cute because it, it, it looks like flimsy but it's actually pretty sturdy and it's cute, it's pink um, and I just keep it in one of the drawers and I just kind of throw my favorites in here. So I filled it up with my favorite products and I am just going to start talking to you guys about them. I'm just going to give you like a brief overview and I think I am going to have a little bit more information on my blog if you want to check that out and pictures and I think I might include a few more products that I uh, like this one here that I'm not really going to talk about here. So because I know I've been rambling on a lot. So sorry. Oh, so now picking out the right foundation brush is to me really important when it comes to applying my foundation because it really affects how it's going to look if it's going to look streaky or blotchy or like if it's going to be too sheer I do not like stippling brushes for foundation I feel like they are just like they're, it's so hard to blend for me I personally like something that's like like the, the hair is nice and tight and you can just like buff it in and just give yourself like an airbrush look in seconds. For me, a stippling brush takes way too long because it's all flimsy and it's just like stippling, like stippling on foundation without buffing it, it's going to take forever. So I hate doing that. So I came across this brush. Actually, let me talk to you guys about this one. This is uh, the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques um, by Samantha Chapman and she has YouTube videos here. So she has a collection of brushes and they're available at Ulta, which is where I pick mine up. This is the first brush that I buy from the collection. I've always seen the brushes and I was like, ooh, this one looks like it's a nice shape. This is actually the last one, so I don't know if this is like the hot seller or what, but this is one of my favorite foundation brushes. So uh, again, Real Techniques, this is the Expert Face Brush and I just want you guys to look at like how it's shaped. The shape has a lot to do with how your foundation is going to look on your face. Now this one, a lot of you were raving about it and I can see why. I got this one at Sephora. This is from Urban Decay and it's the Optical Blurring Brush. Isn't this amazing? They kind of they do the same thing actually, but this one's a little bit shorter and this is a little bit longer, a little bit more loose. This one's a lot tighter, I love it. But this one is also amazing because you save so much time applying your foundation. You Like I dot it all over my face, buff it out, like within a minute, I'm done with my foundation. I'm not like stippling on for like a billion hours. So really love these two. My next favorite is this nail polish. This is from Essie, it's called Barefoot, oh, Topless and Barefoot. And it's a really pretty kind of like pinkish nude for your fingertips and your toes, obviously nail polish. But the reason I like it is that it doesn't wash me out. Like, it doesn't make my fingers look like they're dead. This is, to me, like, the perfect, like, nude polish for mid-tone, like, olive complexions if you're, like, in the middle range as far as your complexion goes, your skin colors. Even if you're pretty fair, uh, I actually put my finger on top of my friend Morgan just to see if it looks good on her because she has, you know, obviously lighter skin than mine. And it looks really good on her, actually, too. And we thought at first it wasn't going to look good, but it does. It does look good. So, seriously, love it. Um, I get my nails done. Sometimes if I have, like, a special event or something, I will um, just take my favorite polish. Anytime I get my nails done at the salon, I take my own polish because I know what I like, you know what I mean? And a lot of the times the nail salon that I go to is at the mall and they do an incredible job, which is why I go there all the time, but their nail polish collection is limited, like they never get any new ones, so I always take mine. I actually took this one yesterday, got my nails done. I kind of like just needed a break yesterday and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go pamper myself, like just take some time. And I went and I got my eyebrows done and I got a pedicure and a manicure and I got my hair done and I was just like feeling really, really happy, so. Next favorite is the perfume. This one is Pink Princess by Vera Wang. Now, isn't the packaging super adorable? It's in a shape of a heart, has a little crown with like purple gems all over it and you can actually, when you take it off, the crown, you have like this ring that you can use like on your thumb because it's actually pretty big. I don't know if it's meant to be a ring, but you can use it as a ring. Um, or put it on like the fattest finger of your hand, which mine is like the, the index finger on my right hand. I feel like this is a young, sweet scent, perfect for someone in junior high or in high school. I'm 26. <gasps> 
so maybe not for me, but I no, I love it. I seriously love that scent, and I didn't really think I was going to like something super sweet because I usually veer towards something a little bit more musky, sexy, kind of like Chanel Number no. 19, but I also love things that are fresh, like Prada, you know, the spring uh, scent they have. It's incredible, and that's usually the kind of scents that I, you know, tend to buy a lot more and I was really surprised that I was actually really in love with the scent because it's kind of like the perfect mixture of like sweetness. It's just not over the top sweet but it's really sweet in a subtle way. I feel like it's such a feminine um, scent and I, I seriously love it. I've been wearing it all the time. My husband though, he's not the biggest fan of sweet scents so he's not like oh my gosh I love it but I like it. I usually wear it when I'm not going to be around him because he likes when I wear perfumes such as... I have this guest perfume which is really old and he bought me another bottle. He's obsessed with that scent. And he also likes... He doesn't like Chanel Number no. 19 but he likes Gucci uh, Guilty. Um, and yeah, but let's move on to a few more things that I wanted to talk about. Um, okay, I'm going to talk to you guys about three or... Yeah, three more things. These three things. First of all, this is the Happy Booster from Physicians Formula. It's an light bronzer, glow and mood boosting baked bronzer. Now, every time I wear this, and I'm not wearing it today, every time I wear this, you guys tell me I look pregnant. And I don't know if it's because I put on 10 pounds, but I think it's more because it kind of gives you a really nice glow. Every time I wear this, guys, without, like, you guys, you look pregnant. You guys always tell me that on Instagram. So I was like, what? I'm like, is it because I gained 10 pounds? I, I don't know, but I seriously think it's because I'm wearing this bronzer. Because every time you, I wear it, you guys tell me I look pregnant. But anyways, what I like about it is that I, I have in the past, like, um, the one I'm wearing today is Soft and Gentle from MAC. This one doesn't really have any color, you know, but it's not like Albatross, which has completely no color. It's just kind of like this vanilla um, highlight. This one has a little bit more gold, but this one has a lot of gold. So when you wear it in the summertime in the sun, your face just instantly looks healthy and like... I don't know, like lashes. I don't know. I just it looks really healthy, and I really like this bronzer. I only like though the center heart, which is everything has shimmer, but the center heart is like the part where it has the most shimmer. This would be the highlight, and then this over here would be the actual bronzer. It's kind of light, way too light for my skin tone. Actually, it doesn't really show up, so I just kind of swirl it in and just you know apply it over my cheekbones, and I love this thing. This is like the first thing that I was like in my basket. It has to go in my basket. This and the nail polish. This is the flower uh, BB cream from in shade BB3 flower cosmetics and I picked this up at Walmart. I know flower cosmetics is exclusively available only at Walmart. Exclusive only at Walmart. I am shade BB3, which is actually pretty uh, a good match. I'm not wearing it today, but it's a really good match. Um, I'm kind of like an NC42 though, but I wouldn't compare this to an NC42 from MAC because NC42, it's more like, kind of like, like orange yellow, you know? This is more like neutral. So uh, let me just rave about this product because I have been, like I told you, I've been on the hunt to find like the perfect BB cream and I found a few but a lot of the times I'm very disappointed because they're a lot of the ones like especially drugstore they tend to be really like greasy and they don't give me coverage and it's just not what I like so I picked up the BB3 and BB2 which is the shade, uh, BB2 is a shade uh, lighter and I was like, that's the one that I included in another favorites because I use it as a highlighter and it's BB cream, but you can highlight and contour your face like crazy with that um, BB cream. And I seriously, not contour, but just highlight and then you can contour with the darker product. But seriously, it does not even look like this is a BB cream. It doesn't feel like it's a BB cream because it's not super, like it's nice and light but it gives me coverage. So to me, I feel like that's more like a foundation. Uh, and I also don't have to set it. And when I put on my bronzer without setting it, a powder bronzer, I don't get any streaks. And it doesn't, like, I just have to set my makeup throughout the day just like a tiny bit, like on my T-zone. Other than that, like, seriously, I think that's like one of the best BB creams out there, in my opinion. Not only because of what it does, but the price is freaking incredible. So I was like, Oh my gosh, if I ever run out, i got to go back to Walmart. So that's that. And then my last favorite is this pencil. This is from L'Oreal. 
including this in my favorites this month because I actually used it as an eyeliner for my top lid, which is one thing that I never do. I never use pencil because pencils tend to be kind of harsh on the eyelid and I don't want to like really tug or anything on my eyelid and cause like premature wrinkles, especially in this area that is so sensitive. So I always just use liquid because it's a lot easier or a cream liner. But this time I tried this pencil and I actually picked it up in a white and a blue and a purple. And I think I also got a green, so I got the brown one as well because it's more of a wearable color. So I did a simple cat eye, and then I took the other side because it comes with a little sponge, and then I just kind of smoked out the cat eye a little bit. And then I went over it with the pencil side to just kind of darken it up a little bit, and it gave me like the perfect, smoky, soft, wearable cat eye, and that to me had me sold. I can't wait to wear the other colors on my eyelid as well when I have when I want to have a little bit more fun with color. But um, yeah, guys, I didn't really go through everything because I know I'm like rambling a lot. But I wanted to share with you guys um, my monthly favorites. And so anyways, guys, um, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoy my monthly favorites. And let me know what other videos you guys want me to see, what you want me to do. Of course, you know, just leave it on the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, hopefully on Tuesday. So I will see you Tuesday.